to the tribe. So the first thing I want to say is thank you for all my new subscribers who have joined into this big, beautiful Melanated Tribe. And if you are not joined into this big, beautiful Melanated Tribe, I'm going to need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join in to all of this tribalness that we have going on. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be doing a battle of the oils. As I mentioned in my last video that I use aloe vera oil to detangle my hair and I was going to kind of elaborate on that a little bit more for you guys. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be using three oils to see which one is the best at aiding in detangling your natural hair. Um, yeah, so if you want to see which oil is best at detangling the mane, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you all the oils that I'm going to be using in today's video. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be using is extra virgin olive oil. This is mine. Then I'm going to be using, why is my label off? I don't know, but so this is the aloe, <laughs> this was the aloe uh, bottle, my oil. So this is the aloe vera, the aloe vera oil that I showed you guys in the last video. And I'm also going to be using flaxseed oil. Hopefully you guys can see this. Flaxseed oil. Okay. Flaxseed oil is supposed to be really good at conditioning the hair, so we'll see how soft it makes it. Aloe vera oil, if you don't have this, you need to get this. I went back to the vitamin shop and they did not have it, so I don't know if it's, if it's like a seasonal thing or, you know, they just have what they have once they run out, that's it, or if they just had it by default, I don't know, but um, you can also get this online if you just Google it, you can find it. So aloe vera oil super super good at detangling last time when I just redid a few twists I used a little bit of aloe vera first I did my aloe vera juice and then I used some aloe vera oil and I started detangling my hair oh my god Ugh. my hair was soft and moisturized for like days and I did put castor oil on top of this oil to seal in the oil with the oil <laughs> I'm also going to be using jojoba oil, maybe, because I normally use this in my scalp, so I don't know if I'm going to be detangling with this one, but it's in the video. So jojoba oil, and then I'm also going to be using my castor oil just to seal in the moisture of all of these oils into my twist. And of course, I'm going to be using my aloe vera juice. A lot of you ask me, do I refrigerate my little spray bottle of aloe vera i don't i poured this into this spray bottle about two days ago and i just keep it under my sink in the bathroom so it doesn't spoil it hasn't spoiled it's i've always done it like this i've never had a problem okay so let's take my hair down Excuse my eyebrows, okay? I just I just did henna on my eyebrows, so they're a little they're a lot dark right now. So they'll 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 lighten up by tomorrow. <laughs> Cause I know somebody's gonna come for me in these comments. Why are your eyebrows so dark? I just did henna, okay? I just henna my eyebrows, calm down. Alright, so taking out my hair. My hair my hair still feels moisturized. I haven't moisturized my hair in maybe about three or four days and it's really soft and it's really soft because the last time I retwisted the front of my hair I used the aloe vera oil like I was uh, saying all right so I'm going to try this on fairly big sections of hair I did kind of turn a few small twists into larger twists because I am going to be doing a twist out soon so make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you do not miss that 
video because a lot of you are asking me when I'm gonna wear my hair out it's coming it's coming soon I promise so that's something you don't want to miss all right so I'm gonna start off by spraying my aloe water my aloe juice aloe water aloe juice on my twist and just kind of let that soak in let that soak in the roots oh bobby pin hit bobby pin <clears throat> all right so i went ahead and i've just pressed in the aloe vera juice my hair feels pretty soft so the first oil that i'm going to try because i am very very interested in seeing how this oil is going to work is the flaxseed oil and all of you know that i am an advocate of flaxseed gel on your ends so i'm really excited to try this flaxseed oil to see what it does for my hair and if it's going to be a new staple and if you guys have not caught on yet, the only thing that I use in my hair is oil. Um, I used to use shea butter. I typically only use shea butter when I'm doing like a twist out or something like that. But normally I really only use oil um, in my hair. It just works for me. So I put a little bit of flaxseed oil. Okay, right off the bat, it feels, oh, it feels, it, it feels like in between castor oil Oh, interesting. It feels in, in like a mix between castor oil and like an olive oil. Oh, I love, oh. <laughs> oh my God, this feels so good. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so happy right now. Like this oil feels good. I've never used it before. So you guys are getting like a true reaction. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so right off the bat, like my hair in conjunction with that aloe vera juice, it feels like it's going to have some good slip to detangle right now. So you can see how it's kind of coming apart already. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Okay, okay. I'm going to put a little bit more into my hands. Ooh. 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 <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put some at the ends. Oh, I love the way this oil feels. If any of you have used, and, and it doesn't, it doesn't, sm it smells like oil. <laughs> if any of you have used flaxseed oil, leave your experience down in the, I mean, in the comment section down below. Because I want to hear you guys' experience with it. Okay, so... My hair seems to be detangling fairly easy with this oil in my hands and on the hair. That came down pretty easy. Let's see if the rest will come down easy. Yeah, it's, it's coming apart pretty, pretty good. Ooh. I'm only putting like a penny size drop every time I put a little bit in my hands. Don't want to overdo it because I'm still, oh yeah. Oh, this, yeah. I like this oil. It's pulling apart really well. It seems like it's conditioning and moisturizing, softening my hair as I am pulling it apart. The shed hair is coming out pretty easy, which is always a plus for me. Okay, this is the next section. Got a weird tangle right there. Let's see. Yeah, that that these these tangles are pretty. They're kind of melting out, which is what you want. Um. I was asked by one of you, ha 
how how I finger detangle or the best method of finger detangling and to be honest the key of finger detangling is to find something for your hair that is going to soften it as much as it possibly can first that is the key to having a successful finger detangle because if you're finger detangling your dry hair and it's not soft unsoftened hair then you're gonna have a hard time finger detangling and not only are you gonna have a hard time but you're gonna get breakage so you want to find the happy medium of moisture and softness to your hair before you start trying to put your fingers in your hair and get out knots and whatnot so I like this oil I really do like this flaxseed oil like I said this is my first time using it it detangled this section fairly well my hair is starting to revert right now so I'm going to spread a little bit more aloe um I'm going to try to get up close so you guys can see um what my hair texture is doing if you guys can see but this is what it looks like when it starts to revert and it's starting to kind of like that so I'm just trying to kind of flip it um from doing that okay and then once I have some shit hair coming out oh that shit hair came out super easy it glided right out all right so now that I have this section to tangle and it did not take me long to, de to detangle that section um if I wasn't filming this video it probably would have took me a lot less just because um I'm not in my mirror right now I'm trying to kind of improvise so now I'm just putting my castor oil on the length of my hair and also focusing the ends of my hair I am not stingy with this castor oil or any oil on the ends of my hair okay don't be stingy there because that section needs all the help it can get okay it's old, it's tired, it's ready. They're they ready to part, they're ready to go. So you got to make sure that you give them a little bit more love. Oh yeah, um, this sh my shed hair is coming out very easy. So I give um, this flaxseed gel, I mean it's flaxseed gel, the flaxseed oil. I'll give it a, I think I'll give it a 10. I'm gonna give it a 10 because I'm feeling I'm feeling uh I'm feeling giving today so if you guys haven't tried flaxseed oil I keep saying flaxseed gel if you guys have not tried flaxseed oil I suggest you get a bottle and give it a try yourself so I think this oil I will be incorporating into my hair routine so I'm gonna go ahead and twist this section up and I'm gonna go ahead and get to the next section and the next oil that I'm going to be trying will be the aloe oil see you guys in a second okay so now we're gonna go ahead and try the olive oil I know I was probably supposed to use that one first but I just got excited about the flaxseed so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the olive oil next aloe Make sure that you really get it in there before you start to tangle your hair. It's my dog. All right, so we're gonna get that. When you start to feel like your hair is softening, then that's when you can go ahead and start the detangling process. Okay, so hair feels. Hair feels soft enough. I'm gonna go ahead and so I realized that you guys did not see any of the labels that I was showing you guys when I was showing you guys the oils. I don't know if you guys can see it back here, but because I guess the the light is so bright, but um, yeah, this is the olive oil. All right, so I'm gonna pour some in my hand. So one thing I've noticed right off the bat between the olive oil and the flaxseed oil is that the flaxseed oil is a lot thicker than olive oil or is it let me see 
it feels a little thicker to me okay let me know what you guys think if you guys have used flaxseed oil oh but you know what see this is the thing okay so this is the thing that is amazing me when I use the aloe and right after the aloe I put the oil on to my hair the softness that occurs from the reaction of both together is like oh, I just love it because the olive oil is also making it really soft it's just yeah, it's making it really soft too okay so let's go ahead and start from the bottom When you're taking your hair out, be really careful at the ends. See where your hair naturally just wants to break? There. Okay, let's see if it's easy to kind of take down. Okay, it's this is this is the same as the flax. So it's really easy to take out. This is really easy to take out and this twist hasn't been retwisted in a minute and I'm pretty sure there's tangles in this twist but this um, that olive oil is doing a really good job as well as detangling if all of these oils are doing a good job detangling on their own just imagine how they would be detangling together as a unit that is a concoction for you all right so i have a couple of hairs that are just like from this side that are on that side that side are on this side but other than that it's just coming it's it's coming down it's just breaking apart just like the flax let's see yeah look this is the tangles just like melt. That's what I love. I love this. When you can find something that detangles your hair and just melts away tangles and doesn't cause buildup. That's the key. Whatever you use in your hair to detangle, you do not want it to cause buildup in your hair. I'm oil everywhere. Okay, so I'll put a little bit more olive oil. tackling the ends I know some people start to detangle from the ends of their hair but my hair has reached this length now that it's just easier for me to detangle from wherever the hell the tangles are and go down from there so that is what works for me and that is what I do and also as I'm detangling I'm kind of just like doing this I'm like I don't know what do you call this just like I'm feeling the tangle so I'm it's so hard to explain like if you guys have ever finger detangled and you just know your hair where the tangle is and that's what I'm doing I'm just so used to doing it now to where I can just glide down and just feel where it needs to be detangled and that's that's pretty much it that that went pretty that went pretty easy as well. So I'm going to give olive oil a 10 as well. It did a really good job. So I'm going to go ahead and twist this section up. And then we're going to move on to the next oil, which is I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to do the aloe, the aloe oil next. And then I'm going to compare the two twists um, from the flaxseed oil and the olive oil in one second so I'll see you in a minute okay so we are getting in gear so these are the two twists that I've done so far this is the flaxseed oil twist and this is the olive oil twist this twist the flaxseed oil twist 
it's like it's so soft like I'm scared to like touch it I feel like it's gonna like my hair's gonna break apart like it's soft it's really freaking soft like it feels it's soft and then this is the here you go <laughs> and then this is the olive oil twist my hair this is my hair texture okay so um you see frizz I don't mind it <laughs> I like it but that's just that's just the anatomy of my hair so I just have frizz <laughs> which is fine okay so now let's move on to my favorite aloe we're doing the aloe um the aloe oil now I'm gonna do this side of my head just because I feel like I'm not giving any love love or respect <laughs> so let's find a twist to do over here no, not that one. This one. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we have going on here. Hello. Ooh. Did I get on the camera? Let's <laughs> party this way. <laughs> Alright. Work it in, work it in. Um, the aloe oil. So the aloe oil kind of feels like the, it, it feels like olive oil kind of to me. It feels like olive oil. It's kind of like the same consistency as, consistency as olive oil. Okay, so I went ahead and worked that in and then let's start. I don't think I worked it in as good as the other ones, but I don't want my camera to die out, so let's get into it. This, right, this oil feels soft. Um, what I found is if you have thinner or more fine hair, if you have fine, if you have finer hair, the olive oil would be really really good um it's not it's not too heavy uh, but it still provides uh, a lot of moisture and it's same goes with the uh the aloe vera oil all these oils and names and a's and f's and they're messing me up but um the same thing with the aloe oil it's not super heavy but it's not really that thin it's the same consistency like i said of olive oil so this will be good for finer hair if um if your hair tends to get oily really quick um, a little bit of this oil will go a long way for you if you have thicker hair then all of these oils that i'm showing you will be really good especially the castor oil if i have a tank see look I'll show you guys what i mean see how the hairs from this side and that side are together so just want to make sure you kind of gently pull those apart you're not snap snapping your hair from the from the middle all right <clears throat> so I've used this oil before to detangle my hair and I love this oil it's 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 neck and neck with the flax and the aloe I think next time that I do my hair I think I'm going to use both in conjunction uh together because i think it'll make a really really good detangler and if you want to add a couple of drops of whatever kind of essential oils then that'll be that'll be kind of dope too so i'll put a little bit more and look 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 it just breaks apart <laughs> i feel like that the aloe oil does the same thing as the aloe vera juice it just it, it breaks apart look that 
That's done. I love this oil. Whoa. Oh my God. Yeah. So this oil is amazing. This oil is amazing. I love it. All right. So this section is pretty much detangled already. I didn't, as you, as you can see from the other sections, I didn't really have to detangle the aloe section as much. Um, as I did, but the flaxseed oil is the truth. Olive oil, that is the truth as well. So these are the three oils that I'm keeping in my um, staple oils until I find another oil to dibble and dab in, which I will be um, bringing light to a lot of more oils as I try them for you guys, especially um or not especially but as well as like different butters when i start doing my twist outs and stuff like that i'm gonna be using a lot more butters and stuff in my hair so some butters maybe you've heard of some maybe you haven't some oils you've probably heard of some you probably have not so we're gonna we're gonna figure this stuff out together so i went ahead and i put the castor oil in my hair i'm gonna go ahead and twist this section up and then i'll be right back Okay, so I'm back, and this is the twist from the aloe vera oil, and this is a twist from the flax, and then we have the twist from the olive oil. They all feel equally soft, so I think that any of these oils would be, would be really good for detailing your hair. If you want to add all the oils together, that will be a super detangler. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and join the tribe by clicking that little subscribe button down there. I love you all, and i see you in my next video. Bye.